guys welcome back okay so let me start off by first apologizing for the air conditioning that you're gonna hear in the background it is hot as I don't know what and I would love to do this video without the AC in the background but that's not happening today y'all it's too hot and I'm not I'm not in the mood <laughs> so we gonna have the AC going okay so I will try to talk loud enough to make sure you can hear me so today I am playing in two brand new products okay and I'm really excited about trying both of them out now the first one is the new Jackie Ina and Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette now this is what the palette looks like she's really really pretty Pretty gorgeous okay I wouldn't expect anything else from Jackie Ida it's very very pretty I love this what is it kind of like I don't know crocodile skin or something but it's very very pretty and it shifts in color so it's absolutely gorgeous it is the regular like $45 price for the ABH palettes but I believe it is limited edition so this is her palette what it looks like now when I first saw this palette I wasn't that excited about it of course because you guys know I love bright colors that's just what I like but aside from this not being my specific aesthetic for a palette it's very pretty it really is pretty it's gorgeous I love how she chose some really nice deep highly pigmented colors that won't show up dusty you know that will show up on brown skin dark skin girls and things of that such because I do not own any ABH palettes that I don't love I own almost all of them and I love them they are gorgeous I love the formula I think that they create beautiful eye looks but they don't always have the depth that I'm looking for in a palette so I can just look at this palette and tell that she chose some really pretty deep colors along with some gorgeous shimmer shades to use so I'm really kind of excited to play around and create a look with this palette I think it's gorgeous so that is the first new item that I'm going to play with and the other new item I'm going to play with I picked up the new what is this y'all know these foundation names are getting longer and longer this is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation and I chose the shade 420 so hopefully it works out for me it was matching me pretty good in the store but y'all know how that goes so I'm hoping that this will work out nicely for me today I didn't pick up their new primer or any other products to try out because I have several Fenty items that I don't really care for <laughs> so I don't just buy Fenty stuff willy-nilly unless I really really want to try it out so this foundation I definitely wanted to try so we're just gonna be checking this out today so I'm going to start out with this palette today and my eyelids are already prepped with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer I always want to say Born to Run Born This Way concealer and I have that down on my lids already so I'm all ready to go I really was like trying to figure out what direction I wanted to go because I kind of feel like okay either it's gonna be a pinky purple look or it's gonna be a warm earthy look with a pop of shimmer on the lid that's basically all I could do so just trying to figure out what I want to do in that sense but I guess I'm ready to just dive right in you guys so I think I'm going to start off with pinker so I'm going to start off with this shade here, Pinker, and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush to place that in my crease. Now I know with ABH shadows, you typically don't have to like really just dig in and dig in to get a lot of pigment. It's usually, it usually shows up right when you place your brush down. So I'm just going to go in with that and just kind of blow it out in my crease area. blending out very nicely I decided to go ahead and just kind of blow it out all over my lid instead of keeping it in my crease because I am going to deepen my crease a bit so it's blending out very nicely performing just like I would expect an ABH shadow to perform 
So now I wanna go ahead and see what's happening with this purple. So I'm going to go into the shade Big Wig and really kinda take that into my crease. dragging this purple out just a little bit farther. So I think I'm going to take Big Wig and just deepen my inner corners as well because I decided I wanted to try a uh, halo eye today with this palette. Okay, and so for the center of my halo eye, I'm going to go in with Wigglies, this beautiful shade here. And I think I'm gonna place that in the center of my lid. And on the outer portion of Wigglies, I'm going to go in with this beautiful purple shade, Shookington. Now I wanna go in with this beautiful kind of gold shimmer here called Zam. <laughs> and I wanna place some of that in my inner corner. It's not really popping like I thought I thought it would. Maybe I need to spray my brush, but Yeah, it didn't really pop as much as I thought it would. Hmm. I mean, it's pretty, but it doesn't have that pop, so. Okay, I'm gonna throw on some black eyeliner and then we'll move on to the foundation before we finish these eyes. Okay, you guys, so it's time to check out this Fenty foundation, but to prep my face, I'm going to go in with my Perlis matcha and green tea antioxidant priming moisturizer so i'm just going to go in with some of this and then we will check out this foundation now i will say you guys that my skin is i don't know my skin changes daily <laughs> but honestly i would describe it as kind of like combination slightly oily it's not dry at all. So it's kind of like normal to slightly oily. My skin used to be very oily, but I've noticed that it's not so oily anymore. I get oily in my T-zone and that's about it. So yeah, for the most part, my skin has kind of become a little bit more normal, I think, which is very nice. So I'm gonna see how this foundation works out for me. And I love this stuff, by the way, you guys. It smells good, it feels good. It's just really, really nice. Okay, so I guess I'm going to do one side brush and the other side sponge. So I'm gonna use my Shop Miss A sponge on this side and my brush on this side. And I think I'm gonna start out, let me see how thick this is. Okay, so that's what one pump looks like. So as you can see, it is very small and the foundation is a little runny but not super duper runny so since this i think is supposed to be medium to full coverage and y'all know how i do <laughs> so i'm actually going to start out with about four pumps for my brush and see what happens prefer how foundation looks on my face when I use a sponge. It just seems more smooth, I guess. But I do lose a lot of product by using a sponge. So that's why I'm trying it out with a brush and a sponge today so you guys can, you know, get an idea of the coverage with the brush as well as the sponge. So this is what she looks like. As you guys see, I went in with about four of those small pumps and just used the brush to spread it out. This is what she's looking like.
this is a very nice coverage I definitely can get full coverage out of this I have a lot of discoloration on my face as you can see dark areas around my mouth under my eyes a lot of spots as well so you can definitely see how the foundation is covering both sides of my face are equally as bad <laughs> so I think it's looking really good okay so let's go in with I'm gonna do I'm gonna start out with three little pumps for the sponge side I'm really hoping it doesn't soak up too much of this product So this is what the sponge side looks like with the three pumps, which is very interesting to me because I used less on <laughs> the sponge side than I did on the brush side. And I actually, it actually does look like there's more coverage on the brush side, but the sponge side doesn't look too bad either. I like both sides actually. So I'm going to go in with just a teeny tiny bit more on the sponge side just to see if I can get the coverage to match the brush side. Okay, so honestly, I love this coverage. I love the finish of it because I feel like it is looking a bit dewy. <laughs> And I still need to conceal and powder and all of that so I don't feel like it's going to be anything crazy but for the shade match 420 for me I think it's pretty good I like the coverage for the sponge side as well as for the brush side hopefully you can see that but I think both sides did very well so now I'm gonna go ahead do my concealer, powder, bronzer, all that good stuff, finish up my face. We'll come back, finish these eyes, and then talk about our first impression thoughts. Okay, you guys, so I have concealed, powdered, bronzed, blushed, highlighted, all of that. <laughs> and I still feel like I'm a little hydrated, dewy, whatnot. My face doesn't feel heavy or greasy or anything like that foundation feels really nice so let's go ahead and finish up these eyes right quick I do want to go in with one of my ColourPop cream gel liners just to bring in a little more purple give it a little more pizzazz so I'm going to place this on my lower lash line. I really like these ColourPop gel cream eyeliners and I also like the new LA Girl neon ones. Ooh, if y'all looking for some eyeliners that add some pop to your eyes, try them out because they're nice and smooth and creamy and they show up nicely. Okay, so let's smoke out this lower lash line. Now I think I want to go into Credit, which is the matte dark brown shade and I'm gonna place a little bit of that on my lower lash line and I'm gonna go in after that with big wig I guess and smoke it out with some purple and I'm using these very small elf detail crease brushes to place that on my lower lash line so it doesn't get out of hand now I'm going in with the purple shade Big Wig. That's very, very pretty, nicely pigmented. Now I'm still looking for that super duper bright pop. So we're gonna try one more time, you guys. So this time I'm going to go into Soleil, this shade here, the first one and I'm actually going to spray my brush <laughs> and see if that gives me the pop that I'm looking for. <laughs> yes, come through Soleil. <laughs> That's the pop I was looking for, hello. Yes. That's it, perfect. Now I'm going to throw on some mascara, do something with these lips, 
and then I'll come back and give you my first impression thoughts on this palette and this foundation. So this is the final look you guys for my lips. I went ahead and used my ColourPop and Ellery Lip Liner to line my lips and I went in with one of my new Colored Rain lipsticks that I got in my mystery box and this is the color Foxy Lady and I just used my Thrive Cosmetics mascara on my eyes. So. This is the final look. I must say, first impression on this foundation, I like it. I think it's an excellent color match for me. It's very light. It's not like super duper lightweight. I can feel it with the rest of my makeup on, but it's not anything heavy or uncomfortable. Just looking at myself in the monitor, I like the finish. It's not matte at all, but it's not like shiny and greasy. It is a nice, soft, just, kind of it's like the perfect in between of matte and dewy because I don't feel like it's dewy I just feel like it's definitely giving me a skin like natural glow so I do like that I like the brush side I like the sponge side I think you can get a very nice coverage for both and I didn't go in with a lot even though I use like four pumps or was it five pumps on both sides? They're very, very small pumps. So, and I need a lot of coverage. So if you don't need a lot of coverage of foundation, you might be able to go in with just a couple pumps and blend it all over your face and be perfectly fine. So I'm not mad at it. As far as the foundation goes, I like it. Um, I got a pretty late start doing this video. It's actually about seven o'clock at night. So I probably won't wash this face off until around midnight or so because I probably will do a little more running around, you know, edit my video, doing some things around the house. So I'm gonna try and leave this on and maybe do a last minute pop in before I wash it off just so you guys can see how it looks. And I will try my hardest not to blot, <laughs> but I will try to do another check-in for the foundation for you guys. And for the Jackie Aina palette, I'm not surprised at all. It is amazing. It's a gorgeous palette. It has some beautiful shades in here. I mean, it's ABH palettes to me are extremely easy to work with. I mean, everyone has their thoughts about subculture, <laughs> but I actually like subculture. So, you know, there's that. But very easy palette to work with. I just did a simple halo eye look today nothing crazy you guys know I wanted to go in and do a cut crease with all 14 shades but I kept it simple for y'all today okay <laughs> nothing crazy so this is the look I think it's pretty I really just wanted to kind of see how the colors that she chose will blend together check out the pigmentation and check out the shimmer so I'm really glad that this first shade here went ahead and gave me that pop that I was looking for very very pretty so that's it you guys I like the palette of course it's beautiful it is a gorgeous palette not surprised at the quality at all I will be trying to check in one more time for the foundation if I don't get to check in again thank you so much for hanging out with me for this first impression on these two brand new products okay and I will see you on my next video hi you guys okay I am doing just one quick check-in on this foundation it has been only about three hours not that long like I said it was late when I put it on so it's only been about three hours that I've been wearing it I have been in and out of the house doing stuff outside grabbing stuff out of my car I sat down started editing my video all that kind of stuff so nothing aggressive it is warm here in California still at this late hour it is warm <laughs> But I feel like the foundation is holding up pretty well. Usually by now, a lot of my foundations, I am like mad shiny in my T-zone because that's where my oils try to escape. So the fact that it looks like I still have the same natural healthy glow as I did when I put it on about three hours ago, I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. I'm digging it. I think it looks pretty good I think like right here you can see some of my darkness coming through and honestly I feel like that is due to the fact that 
for one I ate. <laughs> so I'm sure I wiped my mouth with a napkin or something. So I might have hit this spot a little too hard. But also my darker spots is where I typically go in with a lot of concealer beforehand and I didn't do that today so you can see them coming through the foundation but as far as just the overall coverage on my face of this foundation it is nice okay it's really really nice and even just the little bit of shininess that I have around here that's nothing I could totally live with that so like I said this is only about a three hour check-in but yeah, so you can see, I'm like, <laughs> it's hot. I'm actually sweating a little bit, it's hot. But only a few hours, I think it's holding up pretty well, okay? It is not bad at all. You know, you can see my pores, of course, that's because I'm old, okay? <laughs> ain't nothing gonna go, go fix that. But other than that, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm liking this foundation thus far, so anyways, that's it for this video, you guys. I will keep you posted as far as how I feel about this foundation ongoing because I'm going to keep using it. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me, and I will see you on my next video. Toodles.